We'll start here. Um, thank you very much, and as always, I like to start saying, Bogota is your home. We are very glad that you are here. It is a great pleasure to be here in front of a great crowd of young and talented people. You guys are making history, and I'm very, very proud of representing the organization that contributed to make the, this gathering a reality. Many of you do not know, but Bogota is hosting the first Peace Day in One Young World under particular circumstances. Eight months ago, almost 30 Nobel Peace Laureates gathered in Bogota in the largest world dialogue about peace and reconciliation. And because of the active involvement of civil society, youth organizations, local government, those laureates declared Bogota the world city of peace. And the testimonies, ideas, mobilization, and commitment that I have witnessed at this Peace Day here is provide, it's proving that Bogota deserves this name and we proudly hold it. Today, I want to send a clear message to the world. Peace is a great business. Only with peace, the private sector can really flourish and plan in the long term. This can sound sounds obvious, but in a country like Colombia, this lesson was learned the hard way. During the last 50 years, many businessmen and businessmen and business around the country adapted to the conflict. They managed to find their way in the middle of the turmoil. They created jobs, made profits, and increased their operations. However, this was not sustainable and productive to business, neither to the community. Now that we ended the conflict, the private sector has to play a very different role. We have seen it in Northern Ireland, South Africa, and even in Germany. After conflict, the private sector has the responsibility to rebuilding trust, promote sound and inclusive economic growth, create wealth, promote capacity building and demand an efficient and decent government. How can the private sector fulfill these expectations? Well, through the most powerful global agenda ever created, the Sustainable Development Goals. SDGs are the way to move forward. We believe that if the Colombian private sector commits to these goals, we can achieve sustainable and lasting peace. Businessmen are key leaders in our communities, and as such, we, as the Chamber of Commerce, will continue to promote their active involvement as peace builders. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce a person that has thought of these issues extensively. I met Paul Polman six years ago when I became a member of the Board of Directors of the UN Global Compact, and since then I have witnessed myself how a global business leader can foster real social transformation based on a clear purpose. Paul Polman has been a CEO of Unilever since January 2009. Under his leadership, Unilever has an ambitious, ambitious vision of fully decouple its growth from overall environmental footprint and increase its possible social impact through Unilever, Unilever Sustainable Living Plan. Paul actively seeks cooperation with other companies to implement sustainable long-term business strategy and drive systemic change. He is chairman of the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, a member of the International Business Council of the World Economic Forum, 
and a member of the B team and sits in the board of the UN Global Compact. Paul's commitment to long-term sustainable capitalism is reflected in his position as a member of the Global Board of Directors of Financing Capitalism for the Long Term, whose report measuring the economic impact of short-termism provides evidence that a long-term approach can lead to superior performance for revenue and earning investment, market capitalization, and job creation. Before I give the floor to Paul, I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming to my city, for giving us the chance to show all of you what Colombians are made of, but mostly for bringing us the light of hope in this long journey we have already started peace building. You will always will be welcome in Bog to Bogota and Colombia. Please come back soon. <laughs> Almost every time we visit another city, we try to take back home some gifts to, to our beloved ones. And this time, Paul has someone, to do, someone else to give a present to. His second granddaughter was born two weeks ago. So let's hear him and give the floor to Paul.